Greetings, everyone. Welcome to e and &E Learning Hub. So I'm going to go through and explain the solutions for question seven from the 2013 past paper question. So let's begin. So it says figure eight shows an industrial electrical installation. All right, so this is figure eight, the industrial electrical installation. Part one of A, it says identify the type of AC supply system which provides power to the small industrial installation in figure eight. All right, so the type of AC supply system is a three phase electrical supply system. All right, so that's it for part one of A. For part two, it says in your answer booklet, write the letters A, B, C, D, E, and F on separate lines. Next to each letter, write the name of the part of the electrical installation identified by that letter in figure eight. All right, so A is the main disconnect switch. B is the main distribution board and C is the disconnect switch for the motor circuit. D is the disconnect switch for the lighting circuit. E is the subdistribution board for the motor circuit and F is the subdistribution board for the lighting circuit. All right, so that's it for part two of A. Part three. It says, briefly describe each type of AC supply that supplies electric power to the motor circuits and the lighting circuits in figure eight. For the motor circuits, they would use a three-phase system. So three-phase power is a three-wire or four-wire AC circuit with each phase 120 electrical degree apart. For the lighting circuits, a single phase system is used. So this system consists of two types. You have single phase two wire and single phase three wire. All right, so that's it for part three of A. So part one of B, it says briefly describe the cause of a short circuit in an electrical installation. Short circuit occurs in an electrical installation when the live and neutral conductors make contact. As a result of this, the insulation of the wire will get damaged and there will be an increase in current flow. Part two of B, it says state two effects of a short circuit in an electrical installation, overcurrent and fire. Part three, it says briefly describe how a fuse operates in an electrical installation. When the electrical current flowing through a fuse exceeds its rated value, the wire inside the fuse eats up due to the increased resistance, eventually melting and breaking the circuit. This breaks the circuit, interrupting the flow of electrical current and preventing damage to the electrical equipment or installation. Part four, it says, define each of the following terms used in connection with fuses. Part A of four, current rating. This is the maximum current a fuse is able to handle. Part B of four, fuse current. This is the minimum current it takes for the fuse element to burn out. All right, so that's it for part B. For part C, it says state the formula for calculating fusing factor. So fusing factor is equal to minimum fusing current divided by current rating of the fusing element. All right, so that's it for this question.